good? It's your boy TJ. Welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is well. Today we are going to be looking at how to level up your trading in Forex in 2022. There'll be a lot of beginners, there'll be a lot of experienced people watching this video and I hope you can learn from my own mistakes and the knowledge that I'm going to give you. If you are new around here, make sure to subscribe to the main channel and also leave a like. We've got a bunch of channels at the moment. We're doing TikTok, Instagram Reels. We've got YouTube Shorts. We've got loads of channels going on at the moment. Loads of content bringing to you guys on Instagram Reels, TikToks. We've got TJFX Shorts, T TJFX Reacts and obviously the TJ main channel. There's five bits of content going out every other day on all platforms. So don't miss out. Links are all in the description. Show your support. I hope you guys can learn every single day with me because that's my aim. Now, when leveling up in trading Forex, you have to learn from your previous mistakes. Now, in order to do this, you need to look at where you have been going wrong in trading. This could be a lot of things when you're looking into it into detail now this could be fomo which is fear of missing out this could also be part of your emotions when tra trading if you might have a gambling sort of problem you could be more eager to get in if you don't really care about the money in the account then you're not going to take it seriously there's so many different complications that can obviously alter the way that you trade which is why over time you self-develop and grow into a better trader now the problem is how long do you want to give it until you are successful and how much do you actually want it there'll be a lot of people who will trade for three months give it up come back in the next three to four months and give it a go again but never actually stick out there trading now this could be the main issue if you continuously are making the same mistakes trading over months and months and months and years on end there is something wrong now this is the start of the change you will be having to do a trading plan now the trading plan will just have a few things no fomo use risk management get good risk reward and only trade once a week now you guys are probably thinking i'm already doing this or i already heard it but i guarantee you if you was to send me your meta trader, you would have what more than one trade a week. You will not be consistent with your lot sizes or your SLs. And this is all because you're basically affecting yourself in your growth. Now, you must understand as an individual trader that you've got to fault yourself. You've got to be honest with yourself. And honesty is a true policy, but not a lot of people are. They make excuses for up themselves and then they don't carry, they don't take out their plan of action, you know. Even traders who make videos, giving out content, you know, there's going to be people out there, they're saying the right things, but are they actually doing the right things? So that's what you need to keep eye on. Don't look at other traders or other videos and be like, I need to be like him, I need to be like him. Be your own trader, learn, develop the skills by yourself. You can use other traders trades to help you learn the markets doesn't mean you have to enter their trades you know why would you believe in them more than yourself yes you might say to yourself you can't trade but that's where you're going wrong can't do this can't do that you're using can't change can't to can you can trade you will be able to trade you just need to learn now that trading plan will help you and it's all about the consistency controlling your emotions when trading is one of the keyest things in trading and it's always going to be the same and it's like anything if you get into an argument you've got to control your emotions understand the situation and if you're everyone's going to handle that situation differently depending on who you are and how you handle it and it's all down to your emotions and how calculated you are and, and how you carry out and take out that approach of that similar situation when it occurs now that is the same with trading you're going to have a sales you're going to have trades where you believe in it so much but you hit a sell you want to go in again but it all boils down to the number one trading plan rule do not fomo do not re-enter into trades and only trade once a week if you're only trading once a week you can only lose four trades in a month if you win four trades in a month i guarantee you if you won four trades in a month and the next month you lost four trades if you're r to r and everything was consistent you would be in profit so that means losing isn't losing in trading it's you hitting an sl isn't actually a loss yes you are losing minus one percent but 
because of risk to reward and how you controlled your account. This helps you. It helps with your overall equity, with your profit margins, and it plays into account. And you could have that losing month after or before that lose or that winning month. But overall, you are winning. And that is because you are not just trading with good risk reward, with good risk management, and also you are not just hitting your trades. You are becoming a better trader. And this is leveling up in 2022 i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to subscribe obviously leave a comment let me know as i said i'm grinding for everyone i'm grinding the best i can for you all because i want to make sure that i develop the best content so let me know okay any criticism is good criticism so i'll catch you guys in a bit much love take it easy and trade safe baby